Well, here's an update on my Galaxy S10 Plus saga. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, I got an S10 Plus unlocked from Samsung, and um, the reception was poor, to say the least. Um, my house was a dead zone with it. Uh, a lot of my commute, my CrossFit box, um, just couldn't get data, couldn't get anything. Uh, went through uh, customer service with Samsung several times. You know, they walked me through the obvious stuff. Um, had Samsung repair it three times, um, which they replaced every part of the phone. I mean, circuit boards. I don't know why they just didn't replace it to begin with, but anyway. So three repairs later, um, the reception is just awful. And, you know, I, I'm coming to think that it might be an Android versus Apple thing. Um, I've been using an 8 Plus, an iPhone 8 Plus, and my reception has been awesome. You know, I've had I've had reception now in places that I've never had with an Android phone because I've had Android phones, solely Android phones, for since the Note One. Um, you know, I was I'm on my 11th Samsung, and God knows who meant how many Huawei's and uh, One Plus phones, and you know whatever, and. Uh, you know, I got this 8 Plus to use as a emergency phone while the S10 Plus was getting fixed. And, man, I got reception everywhere with this thing. So, um, recently I bought a, a OnePlus 6T just to see if I was imagining it with the S10 Plus. And uh, I was kind of surprised by that, too. You know, the 6T, it's a great phone. I like it. I didn't keep it because the camera I didn't think was ready for prime time. But uh, the reception is not great on that either, you know, compared to the Apple. So, you know, begs the question, like, what is, what's different with the hardware that Apple has such an improvement, um, you know, to such a, a, a better reception than Android's? You know, same SIM card, same area. I, I put an Android phone and an Apple phone side by side and run speed tests and, uh, you know, do, um, you know, reception tests with decibels and whatever. And, you know, the S10 Plus, the 6T, I had a OnePlus One. Um, the reception is crap compared to the Apple. And the Apple... Even though the iPhone 8 Plus is what, two, two years old, three years old? I don't even know. Um, it got higher speeds on LTE and Wi-Fi. Um, you know, two phones side by side. The 8 Plus beat, beat the 6T and the S10 Plus. So there's something to it. I don't know what it is. But anyway, my update is I gave up on the S10 Plus. Um, got rid of it. I'm going to wait and see what comes out, maybe Pixel 4. I'm not going to do the P30 Pro. I'm going to wait. If I get another Huawei, I think it's going to be probably the next iteration of the Mate because the better screen. But, um, yeah, and we might even see what the next iPhone is. You know, I've heard the iPhone 11 or whatever they're going to call it has uh, kind of the square four camera system like the uh, Mate 20 has. So, you know, that might be something. I still think iOS is crap and uh, needs a major revamp, you know. But, you know, whatever. I can talk on this phone anywhere I want to. I don't have any dead zones anywhere. So, you know, what the heck. Uh, and, you know, the, these Android manufacturers need to get their crap together. And I know a lot of people will say, you know, oh, that's not true, you know, whatever. Well, it just depends on where you live, I suppose. Um, I live in a suburb of Orlando um, using T-Mobile. Um, you know, everything's really good here on iPhone. Everything's mediocre on Android, so, you know. But with the S10 Plus, it was just ridiculous. I mean, I was driving around Orlando International Airport in the loop and uh, had no signal. You know, give me a break. You know, that's just ridiculous. If I'm anywhere in Orlando, I should have, you know, five bars, four bars, whatever. So, you know, whatever, that's the update. I mean, you know, it, it, I'm sorry to Samsung that it ended like this, but, you know, I mean, this was my 11th Samsung phone, and it 
might be my last given the customer service. Um, you know, you pay a thousand dollars for a, a, a flagship and they want to repair it three times when it's just crap out of the box. You know, that's not service. You know, a month and a half they had my phone, you know, back and forth, whatever. I paid for the phone, or I received the phone March 6th, and uh, today, the 17th, I got it back, and, uh, or 17th of April, you know, a month and 10 days later. You know, that's that's crap service. So that that in itself would probably keep me from buying a Samsung in the future. I like their old system where you call them, I got a problem, you know, whatever. I just paid, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks for your phone. They send you a new one with a box to send the old one back. I mean, that's how it should be. All they're going to do is refurbish it and resell it. So it's not, you know, it, it can't be, you know, any more expensive than, you know, having a tech replace it three times or, you know, repair it three times. So... Anyway, that's kind of sad that they've gone that direction because I really like Samsung phones. I think they're built well, uh, used to be built well, and their, their quality control and their customer service used to be fantastic. And, uh, you know, whatever. I, I Let the buyer beware, man. If you, if you don't mind dealing with that with Samsung, then by all means, um, you know, go that route. But uh, I will not be unless they kind of change their ways and uh, figure out the reception issue. So, you know, the funny thing is I sold a, an S10, S7 Plus um, a couple of years ago and a guy, he had, I think, an iPhone 6S. Maybe it was a 6 Plus, whatever, and uh, he wanted to switch to Android. So he sold his 6 Plus. Um, I sold him my S7 and uh, I got a text later on from him, like, what is the deal with this phone? You know, the reception is bad compared to my Apple. I was like, dude, I don't know. I thought the reception was great. But, you know, I hadn't used Apple, so he probably had a point. But, uh, you know, anyway, I'm a half-hearted Apple user now. Not a, not a huge fan, but it works, so... Anyway, that's my final update on the S10 Plus, and my advice and my recommendation would be let the buyer beware. Nice phone, great camera. Um, reception sucks. So, anyway, have a good one.